What do I do now? Hey guys, name's Sven, but just quickly, there's something that I need to take care of before I do any intro whatsoever. I'm sure you guys understand. <sighs> I seriously did not intend to burn through all my, uh, uh, knockouts. Right there, knockout starts with a B, I think. A Burrick Rump. I love how everything's named something instead of nothing. Hey guys, name's Fen. I've always been here, what are you talking about? Had a bit of a rough week and I just didn't at all feel up to doing a video of any quality. If I'd have done one, it would have sucked, so unfortunately... Yeah, but don't you guys worry, I feel pretty good now, so... I, uh, I think that there was something I was about to do last time, but I don't remember what it was, so I guess I'll just go way over to the other side of the map, okay? Okay. Yeah, I should have made at least an effort not to knock a bunch of guys out and to keep my objective... But the thing is, the funny, there's a funny thing about that objective. Oh, hey, there's an elevator that says do not use with a crazy looking, uh, well written thing, and it keeps going like every single day. Oh. Carrot, sometimes you're way too intelligent for your own good. It's. <laughs> it's a diamond drill, but I guess, you know, diamonds are an elevator's best friend. Let's stereotype them elevators. Who boy, I have some of my well, best friends. this is my way out. Better not mess with it. Our diamonds. <laughs> I see. And, uh, you know, they're, they're very loyal friends. They'll do anything for you if by anything you mean black. I hear some guys talking, but it's difficult to make out. I hope they're not making out. That would be really nice and pleasant. And somehow horrible because whoa, 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 we better not teach our children that such a concept exists. They might go ew and not be interested anyway. Oh, hey. I definitely hear a guard going, err. Oh, I bet it's a training room. That sounds telltale, suspiciously like training rooms normally sound. And believe me, I've seen a training room or two in my. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> guess what, you guys? Taking a 20-minute walk every day really perks you up and makes you sweat and pass out from exhaustion. No, no, no. Well, it might, but I think that we all can, you know, cauterize the masses of ourselves to not... What? We're all pretty mature up in here. Except for me. <laughs> well, at least it's not a hammer. I mean, oh, you lock up your bedrolls. <laughs> They might get kidnapped by people wearing baby costumes in the 60s. Also possibly in their 60s. Uh, I can't really guarantee that though. I mean, I don't know everybody in the entire world. I know it's it's freaking fantastic and wow. Suddenly the weather turned extremely hot. And I was going to say that candle. It's a candle. I thought it was a bottle. I was going to say that bottle's pretty glowing there. Yeah. That guy's, uh, you know, just not doing it. What <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Place a mine in a decorative bag. Well, nobody. That's why it's not in a decorative bag. It's on the floor. I'm pretty sure I might get seen by that guy if I'm not cautious. So I better jump on the aeroplane. Hmm. Somebody does not want somebody else... Getting to this safe, and I'd wager there's probably a very amusing readable somewhere around here, so I'm gonna use one of my precious few water arrows to be able to sneak around in the dark. Did I see an arrow here? No, perhaps not. Is there gonna be a crazy in-joke in another language if I go and hit these dummies? Yeah, now that I've done my knockouts, there's really no reason whatsoever at all for me to hold back Stumpy the Gun. <laughs> Does he have a peg leg? No, he's just called Stumpy. Perhaps he's short and stumpy. And stout. That was the stoutest remark. And that was a very offensivist accent. Oh, and here we are, right back here. Well, let's see here. There's the basement. There's the mess hall. There's the wine cellar. So I've been through all of that, and I guess I can go through the servants' quarters or something. And the elevator doesn't work. I mean, that's just a fact. I gotta tell the truth. I am, after all, under oath. And there's nothing else in this basement that I'm forgetting. I know that because I have an extremely good memory. There's probably a ring or something. <laughs> Are you having trouble selling a ring or something? I wonder if you were the type of fellow that won a whole bunch of physical awards and or trophies, and then you die, what would happen to them? Would they all be buried with you? Would your family be unable to afford the expensively large coffin to bury all your trophies? Or 
would they simply be sold off at a garage sale? Which would be hilarious and therefore probably isn't true. The things I wonder are of the greatest import. I guess these are the bathrooms. It says servant quarters, but that must just be a euphemism for shithouse. I mean, you know. The Moss Arrow Plant Pot. I've gotta go to the Moss Arrow Plant Pot. I think that's a polite way of saying a rude thing. Ooh, it's the Pagan Room. Whoa, for real, what? Wait, I can... I can... <laughs> I thought I was gonna take that whole plant of stuff in my pocket. <gasps> There's another doll. Ivy, Rosie, I th Marigold. I have three. Now, I think I have remembered where another one of these dolls is. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go look because, you know, there's there's nothing left in this basement after I've been through these rooms. Wow. There are some pagans about. Whoa. 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 <laughs> how, how horrible. I like pagans, by the way. Personal Journal of Mycroft P. Rafcombe, January 28th. At long last, I have a room of my own. After two months on the couch in the library, the simple joy of a full bed cannot be ever emphasized. And to think, less than a year ago, I was well on my way to becoming an elder scribe. How I have fallen, rejoicing over a straw-filled mattress. If only I had not spilled Keeper Alcott's inkwell over the prophecies of Herodotus, I might still be among my shadowed brethren. And of course, there was that one time with the candle in the main archives and the Berwick incident. But enough about the past. I should be thankful that I have a roof over my head and the freedom to pursue my studies. I'd best get to sleep. May the new day bring renewed balance. February 11th. Lord Bradley has given me another list of manuscripts to acquire for his ever-expanding collection of esoteric volumes. The man is truly obsessed with ancient relics and oddities. I suppose I should be grateful. If not for his hobby, I would be out of another job. Still, with all this book hunting, it is hard to find time for my own research into the nature of elemental crystals. I hope he finds whatever he is looking for soon and leaves me to my real work. March the 10th. It has been several weeks now since Lord Bradley left on his grand expedition. Honestly, I'll be surprised if he returns with more than a few dirty goblets and a handful of old coins. After all, this scepter he is chasing after can't possibly be the real scepter of Malov. While working in the archives, I transcribed the record of its destruction myself. Not that I would ever tell him that. I spent all night studying a new volume by Elliminster, describing the spontaneous generation of water crystals from standing water. It was truly fascinating. I hope Bradley takes the long road home. March the 15th. A prodigal lord has returned, along with several overloaded wagons filled to the brim with assorted riches. The whole mansion is in his uproar. Lord Bradley was far more successful in his treasure hunt than I expected. Strangely, Bradley did not even stay to see the wagons unloaded. He retired to his rooms almost immediately along with a single engraved chest. I assume it contains the supposed scepter he was hunting. With any luck, this new bauble should keep him busy for a while longer. I'm only halfway through Alarius's thesis on the role of polarizing opposites in the elemental matrix. His work is very moving, and the way he describes shifting modular plenum is truly awe-inspiring. Now if only those taffers in the courtyard would quiet down so I can concentrate. April the 17th. Something is not right. Ever since Bradley's return, there has been a strange tension about the mansion. Despite the success of his mission, the air of celebration has quickly fled, replaced by an oppressive fog. The other servants are on edge and quite quick to anger. Just the other day, when I asked one of the maids to dust the library shelves, she spoke back to me in an insulting manner. Such rudeness! And she is usually such a biddable lass. Bradley, on the other hand, has been noticeable by his very absence. He's locked himself away in the master bedroom for days now, only letting his trusted manservant in to deliver meals. Rumor has it, he spends hours just looking at that ruby scepter he brought back. I thought he acted like a man obsessed before he left, but now, now he is more like a man possessed. I shall try to sleep now, though I doubt my chances for success. As of late, my slumber has been disturbed and restless. Such strange dreams. May the 7th. We are now in the future. My hand shakes as I write these words. What madness is this? How can it be true? I saw the records with my own eyes. It shouldn't exist. It can't exist. 
but it is there, displayed in gaudy extravagance at the top of Bradley's new reliquary, as if it is just another cheap trinket or shiny stone. The ruby scepter of Malov. How can these fools look at it and not know what it is? Can't they feel it? I don't understand how I could have been so blind. I should have seen the signs, discerned their meaning sooner. But now, what do I do? I cannot leave it here. That much is certain. I haven't felt such strength since my days as an acolyte walking the halls of forgotten power. I can still hear the whispering, just barely. I think it is growing stronger. May the 9th. Curse those gear-loving mechanists. I was so close. The ventilation shafts in the reliquary are easy enough to access, and then it was just a short climb to the vaults. I even managed to borrow a vault key from one of the new guards. But those cursed mechanists have already changed all the locks to gearboxes. I can't even get into the vaults, let alone reach the inner chamber. If only I'd paid more attention during my training exercises. Keeper Voloris would laugh aloud to see me defeated by a mere door, no matter the lock. But then, my strengths have always run towards the less physical pursuits. Run, sorry. Unfortunately, my research into the scepter has provided little hope. If even half of the v rumors and myths surrounding the Opal's relic are to be believed, then its power must never be released. This relic is not unlike the legendary Eye, possessed of arcane power and a will of its own. According to Pladium's, the Pladium's theorem on metaphysical sentience in semi-inanimate objects, such relics can draw strength from their proximity to the living, feeding on the very energy of life and twisting it to their own wicked ends. I can just imagine how it must have waited for years, decades even, for some poor fool to discover it, waiting for a chance to grow strong again. May the 13th. I don't know what to do. My heart is clouded and my balance is lost. I dare not take the scepter now. This evening, I managed to reach the inner vault. It wasn't easy, but after several failures, I finally made it. In a way, it is fortunate that Bradley employs so many guards, or someone would have already grown suspicious of my tendency to become lost near the reliquary. Why would he not be suspicious? Yet my efforts were to no avail. I could not remove the scepter from that room. I fear even to touch it. As I reached for that accursed relic, the shaft began to glow and strange glyphs appeared in the dark wood. Despite my training as a scribe, I cannot clearly describe their meaning with mere words. They spoke of danger and death and old magic. They spoke of things best left unseen, whispered horrors, and a restless dead. They called to me. I know not what might occur if I were to put my hand to such symbols, and I fear to learn. Whatever foul magics enchant the wicked thing, they hunger to be unleashed and call to the keeper within me. I can feel its malevolence every time I pass the reliquary doors. May the 14th. I've done what I can against this ancient corruption. I dare not wait any longer. In truth, I may have put it off too long already. Although I loathe the thought of asking my former colleagues for assistance, there is nothing more I can do alone. Each day the whispering grows louder. I can hear it in my sleep. It has been days since I've been able to concentrate enough to read even a simple treatise. I will leave the glyphs tonight. May the 17th. Still no word from the keepers. I fear the signal glyphs may have changed since last I walked the shadows. Or perhaps my former brethren choose to ignore my desperate attempts to re-establish contact as punishment for my past failures. I have no way of knowing. In any case, I am on my own. There is nothing more I can do. My last hope is gone. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, six, 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 sixteen. <laughs> the true nature of fire. <laughs> okay, okay. Hilarious's last name is Von Walburn, I guess. That's that sounds like some canon to me. Boy, I mean the book was fine, but man, since I've determined that I need to read books. I, uh, I sometimes feel myself oh, is, is punished by mine own self. Hello? Oh. Hmm. Nothing there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Who was that there? Okay. Who was there? 
Gee. Did you say something? I guess I'll leave these guys uh, alone if I can. <laughs> Stuff it right into your pocket, Garrett. Hmm. Master Bradley, I hereby formally resign as head housekeeper for your estate. Ever since you returned from your journey with that horrible scepter, this household has been cursed. I hear footsteps behind me when no one is there. Vases and dishes vanish from the tables, only to reappear in other rooms. And tonight, I swear I saw a shadow move right in front of my eyes. It is enough to drive a woman mad. And you, sir, you have changed. You used to be such a kindly, understanding master. So much better than my last employer. Yet now, now you are an absolute beast. Well, good luck finding another housekeeper willing to put up with your ridiculous security measures and senseless paranoia. And don't worry about that green rug with the gravy stain. You'll never have to look at it again. Consider it suitable compensation for all that I've put up with these last months. Sincerely yours, Marga Zweeder, ex-housekeeper. Yep. I do sort of remember that. That looks suspicious, but there's no reason why it would be. Now let's go into the last of the metaphorical bathrooms. After which, I guess I should play a bo- <laughs> Just like lying in the bed. I put a thing on top of the bed. That way he can eat it instead of going to a fancy hotel. I guess I should play more since that reading that book took like literally 10 minutes. Well, there's nothing left here that I can think of, so onward and upward we go. Uh, oh. Oh, that must be. Jeez. That must be where the elevator lies, and for some reason it's triggered by me coming in here like a like a good scary thing. This elevator better be fixed before my party or the heads will roll. This elevator must have something important about it, you know what? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's what. <laughs> oh Christ. Okay, enough joking around. I better go get the the thing that I left down here. <laughs> or I will not have any chance to put it to good use. Alright. A lot of y'all probably know what's going on here. Now this is, uh, you know, you can't pick this door, so you're thinking, okay, well, there's a key for it somewhere. Well, I mean, I've got this weapons locker key, but that doesn't seem to uh, make a difference. But in fact, there's no key. You just gotta, you just gotta break it down, which is very anti-thief, but it's entertaining. So you know, let's just. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just extremely amusing. Like everybody said, by which I mean me and one other person. <laughs> Kitty Fortner here has a wicked sense of humor, yes. Very nice. Very. <laughs> this is just the greatest thing. Like, so in plain sight. Oh my god, I love it. Wait a minute, this one doesn't seem to break. Wait a minute, do I actually need a key for this one? Maybe I do. Huh. That's... That's funny. I guess I do... I do need a key for this one, or there's a switch. Not sure why I'm remembering that, I just think... Hmm. Oh, but, oh, it looks like I missed that. 12,000 loot! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You are, you are actually seriously joking, right? Well, I don't have a fire arrow. But, oh, maybe I have a flare. But, holy water. You know what? I remember something weirdly ridiculous like this going on, but... Oh. Well, let's just see. I mean, I'm gonna die, but let's just test. Come on, I can't even break this barrel like this. Oh! Okay, maybe I can just throw it. This is so ludicrous. Oh. Oh. I guess I didn't kill him, but I'm not gonna take a chance, am I? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> uh, 
This is awesome. I was even gonna troll all y'all and leave this to the very end of the freaking mission. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm out of barrels. Can I... Oh, really? Do I have to go hunting around for another one? I don't, don't I? Where? I forgot that this was so... Impossible. Okay, none over here. <laughs> well, I do have a mine or two. Oh, never mind. Here's a couple more. <laughs> ah, finally. Yep, yep. This is uh, the greatest moment in FM's. Well, it's one of the most memorable moments in FM's anyway. I've uh, never forgotten this. Well, I forgot some of the details. <laughs> yeah, it's not a dead end. That's an object. I didn't realize that before, but now that I'm able to see such things, yeah. That's the switch I remember. That's a party killer right there. <laughs> it's pretty funny that it was a dead end. That's, that's pretty... Watch my step around here. Eh, eh, eh. That's my reaction. <laughs> Wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I forgot it was so long-winded. Uh, I gotta remember where to jump over here. Huh. Uh. Looks like this place was built by my old no. pals, the Keepers. I wonder what they're hiding in here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a doormat with a key. Super secret high security hidden keeper vault. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest thing. The Shadow Jack. You have found the legendary Shadow Jack! This mystical weapon shrouds its wielder in a cloak of deeper shadows, yeah. So, it's like, uh, whenever you have it out, you get darker, or at least that's how it's supposed to work. It doesn't seem to actually be working. Well, that's the regular blackjack. You gotta plush yourself into the shadow jack. Yeah, see? Now I'm dark. So it's really the cheapest weapon ever. Uh, but it's, you know, it's fun to get. And it, you know, kind of totes conflicts. Oh, how the heck? Conflicts with the, uh, you know, blackjackaholic prove you're not kind of objective. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, so, it, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just, concentrate here. Whew. Well, that's that. I feel like this episode is <laughs> not really a complete episode. It's just me laughing and then reading. Uh, reading is fine, but that took me a rather long time, so I'm going to try to go a little bit further on the drug bus. Ooh. No. No. We don't like the drug bus. No. The gaming room is closed until further no- No, we don't- Notice, no, we don't- I apologize- The drug bus, no. I apologize for the inconvenience and invite you all to the ballroom for refreshments before the grand opening. Yes, well, I'm sure the gaming room has nothing evil behind it. I'm sure it's just closed because the Lord thought better of the horrible, awful act of gaming and purchasing lottery tickets. Which is not at all what's going on here. Just came out my mouth. <laughs> what? No. Oh yeah, he's gone. Gone. Well, a fine trick and egg. Looks like Nick's luck finally ran out. Eh. Uh -huh. Well. Oh yeah, he's gone. Yeah, Garrett repeated himself. That's uh interesting. I hope. Uh, I hope. I hope, uh, I hope. Let's knock him out with the Shadow Jack just for novelty's sake. Oh, you know, you know what, actually? You know what I'm actually gonna do? <laughs> I think that counts as an airborne knockout. And I seem to remember something about airborne knockouts, so, you know, I think I'm gonna try for them. Just. Just because. That's the sitting room key. I guess this is the sitting room and that's the gaming room. How inefficient. Also, there's another doll 
which I said I was going to uh, look for. Oh. <laughs> what have we here? Freaking speechless, a pirate treasure. Well, I think it's booty. And this lock is the typical silly ass, ridiculous looking lock that never really looks proper. Wonder if it ever did. Yo ho ho, in a, a bottle, bottle of rum. rum. <laughs> well, that's a very, very random secret, but hey, I shall take it. And before I go exploring this room, I just want, and before I even read this letter, I'm just going to try to make good on that Jordan, thing. That you? I s you mess ah! I'll see your boat. So as you can see with this thing, I just run around cheaply right in the broad daylight. And it looks like even though I came in through one of these windows, I blatantly forgot to get these. That's utterly amazing. Also, luminous lobelia. And I guess these are luminous lobelias. Luscious lobelia. And there's a coin underneath. Yeah, all the flowers have cutesy uh, little nicknames, or large little nicknames, if you like to be nonsensical. Oh, no, I guess I must have come in through here. That makes more sense. Okay, yeah, I think there might be a doll under here. It's just from memory. I ain't looked at a walkthrough or nothing, so I could be wrong. But I just seem to remember there being one, or maybe it's just that I looked for one here. But didn't find it. Oh, no, there is. See? Saffron, Marigold, Ivy, Rosie. I think that there's one more left. I guess I'll find that when I find it. Well, thereeth lies the reliquary. But, uh... First, I should you know, go to the library and the pool and other such things. These, uh... These chairs are lighting up rather strangely. I think this Shadow Jack has a strange effect as can apparently sometimes be the case when you mess with the light gem and so forth. You got nothing on your body there? Nope. This is like so the cheapest thing, but it doesn't silence your sound, so it's not a hundred percent cheap, nor does it silence these sounds that I'm playing. Oh, this game sure is unrealistic. I guess I could rope up there. I got one vine arrow. Did I get that from the toilet? Or was it a moss? No, I got that from those servant rooms. Just took the entire vine and fashioned it into an arrow. Well, I better keep the Shadow Jack. You wouldn't want me getting noticed because of my own lack of skill here, would we? His commentary is a little odd, but I am very hot. Lovely lavender. Now, oh, L words. Oh, boy. Oh, b uh, a boy. Well, it's got some keeper symbol, or maybe it's a purple apple. I think I'll go with that. So over here should be like the library and or the pool or something. Oh, this is the library. Well, libraries always hold secrets and evil, secrets and evil, and secrets and evil. Surely, there's... Is someone there? I remember this for some reason. I remember there being something tricky about this, possibly... One rat, I will just scream. The fact that there's two people standing right here, but since I've got the cheapio cheap... I guess that, that? What's that doesn't matter. Let's get the second uh, airborne uh, blackjack, shall we? Uh, guard! He's over here! Thief! <laughs> I just have a feeling I could be rewarded, Lady Dahlia. It's totally not how you spell a person's name. Hey, Olia, your name isn't Olia, it's Olga. I, I know this, Mycroft. Uh, that sounds like a mushroom or something. You know what, this library, I mean, seriously, that. There's got to be something to this, such as, you know, getting busted. <laughs> Man, this mission is weird. It's like it, you could play one way, like don't blackjack an opponent, or you can just blackjack, you know, everyone using your super new tool and, you know, never get seen ever. But uh, the price you pay is like horrible looking graphics. Aha! Aha! Aha, uh -huh, there was something. It wasn't a cliched, cheesy old secret book, but uh, a thing on top of a shelf. I guess that's good enough. This is the pool, and there could be something lewd going on, or maybe that was another mission. I confess, I honestly don't remember. I think that might have been memoirs 
of a dead god, because this pool is quite uh, extravagantly ridiculous shaped. It's shaped like a modern pool with those weird shapes that you can put pool floaties into. There's gas in the pool. Doesn't seem very healthy to me. I guess it's just steam. This is actually a steam arrow. It's the arrow of steam. Because uh, Valve has actually created something that destroys the quantum time mechanism. Quantum time mechanism is my new scientific discovery, but nobody's gonna believe it because of science sometimes acting rather suspiciously like a religion. Not all the time, but just occasionally. You, you notice it. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this actually does make things look rather ugly when it's in use, so I, I think that's a, a good enough reason to stand tall before the Master Builder. And uh, just know- oh, there's the last. Presumably, I'm guessing there's five, I don't know, I just think five sounds like a good number for amount of dolls. And there's a modern toilet, I guess, if you're modern enough to use a pool with imaginary floaties and gas coming up out of it, you're modern enough to use a- Slightly modernish toilet. I don't really mind the modern toilets. I mean, obviously, I do notice them and excessively mention them an excessive number of freaking times. But, you know. Hey, this is the episode where my commentary. It, it's poison. Gets. No, it's not. Gets back into the group. Oh, yeah, right now. It's not even happening. I should go read that tricky Nick note. That seems like it could be a, a shorter note. One might. One might hope. Let's just take a peek. High diving for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty short, but it looks like there could be an upstairs portion, which seems like there should be some dudes walking around. Oh, indeed, there is. See, I'm using a proper shadow. Not, not cheap in it. I'm guessing that uh, even using a shadow jack, a mid-air blackjack would count as a mid-air blackjack. I don't know. Hello. Ah. I heard. Well, I guess I don't get rewarded for it. I don't know. It. I thought. I thought that this mission had something like that. Oh well. Daring daisies. I just love this. This mission was created with a light sense of heartedness, and uh, at the same time, it's really good. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, I'm now on the top floor, so I think I will just go back and read Tricky Nick's note and just kind of try to finish up this middle floor and uh, then call it a day or a week, as might be the case. Well, there's this guard place over here. Mm, I guess. I'm really not supposed to just barge into those double doors. I'm supposed to go through the vents or something like that when text said, hey, I'm starting to remember occasional things from text. Hmm. Oh. That's an excellent guard, just standing there with your back to your thing there. What is- <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you turn around. Big deal, nobody's impressed. NOBODY! Somebody loves you. <laughs> just gonna keep doing that. I'm freaking so <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's a weapons locker somewhere. I guess. Huh? What? You've made a. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this isn't a weapons locker, despite there being some weapons in here. Well, maybe it's a room that I picked already, or freaking something. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything labeled as such. So, oh well. Eh. Wow! Wow, this is going nowhere. This lock is the stupidest. Seriously! What the hell is up with this lock? <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Now that I've uh, destroyed all my opposition and feel quite bad about myself, I'll, uh, I'll go back in here and clear everything out. Pretty pansies, and now oh, there's another book, but fortunately, I can't read it. That glass is takeable, but these appear not to be, or something. Oh, they are. Okay, 
even the one that's tilted over. I don't know what kind of fence would buy a tilted over glass. I'll just have to tilt it back and act like it wasn't damaged. Though. <laughs> Jorn, I hold you directly responsible for this mess. I cannot believe you would be so foolish as to allow a common card shark into my mansion, and on such an important night, no less. That invitation was an obvious forgery. He even misspelled gala, you idiot. If not for the presence of so many guests, I would give you ten lashes in the courtyard right now. As it is, I shall give you one last chance to prove yourself. You are to see that the gaming room is locked and no guests are allowed in until after Connor has cleaned up the mess. I don't want any hysterical women or irate noblemen on my hands tonight. I most certainly don't want to involve the blue coats. This incident is to be kept quiet. Lord Dasherville has promised to put away his daggers while playing cards in my house, and I've assured him that this little mistake will not become common knowledge. I'm placing my trust in you. Fail me again and Connor shall have two holes to dig. Now destroy this note and get back to work. This is just what I was looking for. <laughs> now I've got a real plan. Well, um, teach Lord Dasherville a lesson. Uh, okay. I guess I was supposed to read this note first, but I'm going to read it last because I'm a rebel. Oh, it's a badly forged invitation. Well, I guess that uh, clears up this floor, I guess. Well, I could walk around outside, but I think I'm going to leave it here. So well, I'll see you guys uh, next time. And uh, bye for now. And make sure to click the buttons if you feel happy or sad. They will be as good as, as a medication or as walking for your mood or something. I don't freaking know what I'm saying. Natural stuff is the best. Freak.